Um, Comic-Con all day, we got to the show, I've been in traffic, I have a VIP meet and greet, which is literally in like 45 minutes. I'm out here on the curb with fucking our merch that we brought, I got dropped off, can't find the stagehands, don't have my radio, running out of time, can't leave the boxes, waiting on my man, it's hectic, I'm out here, and um, just, you know, we got Bubba G Gump Shrimp right here. No, one of the place, first places I really took Brandy to impress her, the Hard Rock Cafe. Tonight, we get to play at the Hard Rock Cafe, and you know, maybe it'll stir up some, some memories of our loves. So, still waiting on stage hands, don't see anybody. All right, I think they forgot it about me. So, I could just be, I'm, I'm gonna start selling this merch right here in Times Square. I think we got we got some records. Um, we got CD. Get your Amory Wars comic books here. Amory Wars comic books. Here we go on the corner. Anybody? No, I'm just fucking around. I can't. Uh, I can't actually sell it right now. I was. Yeah. I was just doing this for my cat. Sunday morning, last day of uh, Comic Con. Back up in Best Buy. Just missing a little plastic thing. It looks like if there's not a Beats rep, there's no airplane. This is it. In these streets. Shop this Takashi 6 9 in the earbuds. Balling on a budget here at Kmart. They got cookies and a wheel to spin up front. Actually, let me go spin the wheel. Can I spin the wheel? Of course. I want to spin the wheel before I go downstairs. Cookies. This is great. The wheel of destiny. There's a lot of sorry and spin again. Wait a minute here. Oh. Something. You actually won three dollars in Shop Your Way points. Are you a Shop Your Way member? Or? No, I'm not. Go to one of our lovely cashiers and find out how to do it. Let's sign me up. I'm gonna eat a cookie. Do you want a bottle of water? Do you want? Yeah, I'm, only gonna, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm only gonna sign up if we have this plastic, because otherwise I'm not buying anything. Does that make sense? <laughs> Christmas time already. Tree shop, not the one I was looking for. Made up Kmart zombie dolls. Cooking on the way out, and then we'll then we'll be even. Now we're we're signing up for the card. I'm not buying anything. Oh, uh, eight zero one Anglewood. Seven thousand followers. Okay. Trying. I'm trying. Getting up there. I'm getting up there. I need another cookie. I'm not buying anything, but Melanie here was so helpful. You still got a free cookie though. Yup. Actually, I had two free cookies, and I'm gonna have Three. a third. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna try Staples and hope. We're gonna fucking. We're gonna try Staples and hope for the best. There's four hours left to Comic Con, and this is my Comic Con footage for y'all. So now, I found it. There it is. Let the boss man know. All right, we did it, guys. We got last to grab in the street, waiting on the Uber. You know what I'm thinking I can do? This is a part of my tripod. I got it on the tube here. Oh, wow. This is better. This is great. Okay. Oh, look at this camera. Look at that angle. This is like a steady cam. It's pan to the left here. Yeah, people don't see vloggers like this. Like, we notice you gotta make it different. Who's vlogging with a plastic arm selfie stick? Like? Tour bus, New York City style. Take Ubers, what's important to look at, because I've gotten in a lot of the wrong people's cars. Actually, last night, somebody took my Uber in front of me. Jag dish. Jag a dish, jag a dish. Sorry, I thought you were on that. I didn't see you on this side. Now we're headed into the floor. Look at Spider-Man. Oh my goodness. All right, time to do the once over in the hotel. Nothing under the bed that I'm missing. Counter looks good. Weed is empty, can't come with me. That's it, it's gonna be it. It's gonna be it for this hotel. Well, guys, we're headed to the airport and I'm filming and I have a new friend here who I met, <laughs> but he only speaks Chinese. But what's amazing to me is that I've used the Google app to communicate with him. Oh, shit. How many years have you been in the United States? Two years. Two years. Oh, he understood that one. Why did you come here? Oh, it's not, it's not working. Why did you come here? You understand that? Yeah. Why you come here? Money? Um, no, no, no. Family. Family, family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I work with a band. <laughs> oh, that, rock. Joke. Yeah, rock, rock, exactly. You like to live here? Yeah. 
Yes, nice. If you could go anywhere in the world, where would you visit? Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. That doesn't exactly work. Hold on. Do you like rap music? Because it is my favorite. Oh, yeah, yes. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, I do, I do. <laughs> nice. Well, We're in the airport said, yeah. right now. We're at the bar. Oh, I'm a vlogger. I'm hanging out with every one of my buddies. Uh... We are in motherfucking London, where the seats face you each know, other. In foggy London town. I don't. I don't really fuck this autofocus shit. I don't know where we left off last. Where I left off last, we were on our way to London. I got to London. We got to our hotel. My tour manager. Everybody makes mistakes. Great tour manager. Great guy. Booked the hotel on the wrong date. There were some time zone differences. He booked it for the day before. So we got to the hotel. We didn't have a hotel room. To make up for that, he found us a really nice hotel. Right now I'm in the Marriott Renaissance, right next to the train station in this beautiful old building. So ladies smoking room, which I had no idea what that is. There were no ladies smoking in it. There was also a billiards room with no billiards. People are having tea in the afternoon and they have all these beautiful desserts. It's cathedral type ceilings. I mean, we are out here in London and it feels like London. Look at that. Beautiful. Mind your head, you know what I mean? Mind your head. Push, pull, pull, push. I need my key. That's silly. I asked the lady about the tea today and if I could get in it and she asked me if I was staying at the hotel. Just because I look like a dirt ball doesn't mean that I'm not staying at the hotel. My best friend Josh. What up, bro? Dude, these things are incredible. They show you on the TV how to do the exercise. They keep track of it, and if you have like an app, Stop you- Stop filming yourself, you fucking sociopath. I can't. That's how- other hotels do. Yeah, but dude, this is a fucking nice pair. Yeah, that's definitely nicer than the usual. I mean, it's probably like the Chinese version, but- Whatever, we should take a couple. Yeah. We, we both vlog. vlogging. Let's all vlog, we vloggers. We out here vlogging, me yeah, and Josh. Mission accomplished. I was gonna uh, bring you guys with me to get weed, but then I figured buying weed with a camera is not the move in another country, especially. We got some shit here. I'll show you a close up. Oh yeah, no, 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 this is good. Like this is good to the point where like I'm looking forward to smoking. Hey, that Camden special right here. We went out, we had to take it to the streets. Uh, Instagram connects, my plugs that were my plugs or just didn't work out. Dudes were busy, another dude didn't get back. Somebody else wasn't in the area, so they'll take care of me. Long story short, we uh, went into a little coffee place, like an actual coffee place and just told the guys like, listen, we're not asking you for weed. And they gave us some phone numbers and uh, this, this other girl, um, I couldn't figure out how to call these numbers because you have to put a 4-4 four four in front of them. Some of them had been turned off, like a lot of these drug dealers change their numbers, so people have the numbers, but they're not right anymore. Got a half ounce for uh, 140 pounds. God damn, it's like 2.30 for this shit in America. It's fucking brutal. It's so long since I've slept. I've said it every vlog, but literally my plan was to sleep the whole flight over. That's where I get my sleep. Didn't get my sleep. Literally, physically, need to sleep. Up in Glasgow. You should start an unboxing channel. You get more shit than I have ever got. People thought I got a lot of That's boxes. That's because, oh my God, you got some new cookies, I'm so glad. I got every kind of thing. Like a raisin. They had some that were good. Mm. The truth. It smells very good. Uh -huh. mm. It's a four gram jar. Uh -huh. God damn. Doesn't yeah, it? But dabber. look at, ooh, it's beautiful. Yeah. We're high, Teddy. Very stoned. Cutting the cheese. Yeah, well, slicing the cheese. That's not slice, those are pieces. You cut it into into pieces. You slice it. Into pieces. This is my last resort. Okay, shut up. No. And I'm gonna make a salad before. 
in the back of my head. I'm so stoned. All right. Hello. Last couple of days have been me going through footage, me trying to paint. I did some flames, like a base coat. That's all I'm, that's all I've done. Okay, people ask why I'm not at the tattoo shop all the time. As you saw last week, trying to tattoo full time, I run clothing brands, travel, uh, and vlog it is fucking hard work. I've been exhausted. So exhausted that I haven't even opened boxes that are here. One thing that did show up finally are ha, the I don't know how to say this. The etudes? Hey man, lose the tude, dude. Up with your etude, dude. I think these are super fucking sick. We're gonna go talk about them in a second. I posted a photo of them in black. Yes, I do think it would look really cool in black. But I like the blue as well. Um, let's see what other boxes are here real quick. Since I ain't been around the last couple of days. Boxes. Oh, sketchbooks. Got a lot of drawing to do. So Alex found these. And they're like 25 bucks on Amazon. Let's fill these things, dog. Fill those sketchbooks up with drawings. I'm bound to come off. Then I got this box from StockX. This has got to be some of my replacements. Oh shit. Damn, these are my size. <laughs> no, it's so, see, here's the thing. God bless them over there, because when I told them that I needed, uh, a, I needed everything in a 13, I don't think they realized that I didn't need the Nike. So I don't know whose fault that is. But this is why fucking trolling. <sighs> this is why trolling is so easy. Like, I could put these on right now and just, they would just be funny. You know what I'm saying? My heart is like actually beating really fast right now. I think I'm putting them on, that's really stupid. All right. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> Come back in a minute. I'm gonna laugh this off. Alex. Yeah. So StockX sent me another pack, um, and they accidentally sent a shoe in my size, but it's a Nike shoe. Stop it. Well, the only Nike shoe. It's not the exact model that I said this about, but I said like last year. Oh uh, man, if there is a Nike shoe I was gonna wear, if there's no. one that I'd be interested in, this would be the one that it is. It's here in my size, and I'm just sitting. Heart is like racing. Thinking about putting it on because of the internet. Like, <laughs> and it's just such a funny place to live. I don't know what to do. Oh. It's pretty funny that like putting on a fucking shoe can make my heart race. Let me see this shoe. That's cool looking. Yeah, you approve, huh? I mean... <laughs> Omar, what do you think? Yeah, we all get crazy here days. Don't judge. What do you think, Omar? <gasps> ah, so funny. Alright, what's actually in here for me? Finally. Whew. These are like still in stores, I'm sure, but still kind of top it. I need this. I finally got a pair of these. I'm gonna work on this. Working on a new AI drop that is going to be coming soon as well. So I got some shit I got to do. As far as the Goku contest goes, if you didn't see Maddie's Goku entry from the shop, it's ridiculous. I'm gonna go hook Maddie up with this pair. This contest has been going on for a minute, and it's not my like point to extend it. But here's the thing: not that many people really entered. A lot of people did these like they just sent me ones that are already on the internet, or they use like a weird background or something weird like that. So the contest is now open to all sizes. I can just get the other pair off stock. It. You have a week from today. Next Friday, we'll pick the winner. Send your entry to oitsteddy at gmail.com. All merch has shipped. There are random things left in random sizes. Oitsteddy.com. Everything that's in the store usually ships same day now. We've kind of got that cruising. I'm taking tattoo appointments right now in Denver for next week. I have a few openings. I'm also really busy. And then the next place I'm going to be going is Houston. Houston next early November. More details soon. I know it's French, but I think that it is actually pronounced etude. I'm gonna say it's like etois, but I think it is actually etude. I looked it up and the definition exactly 
a composition built on a technical motive but played for its artistic value. This is a uncaged Ultra Boost. This is an Adidas collab with the Parisian Fashion House. Etude, Etude. I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. I really don't know. I also have dog hair on it because I rock my shit. Uh, these showed up the other day from Packers. Shout out to Packers for getting these to me. So a lot of people, as I said earlier, didn't really love this shoe or don't love it. They are sitting in some places. Price is a little high. It's like 255, I think, US. Which the Uncaged Ultra Boost has never popped, you know? Like people have never really been super into it. I think that it never got a proper rollout. I don't dislike the Uncaged Ultra Boost, but what I will say is that this is the best by far Uncaged Ultra Boost that we've gotten, and it's not, it's not just the embroidered stars, which are really nice, it's a nice touch. But the reason that this one is just more comfortable on foot is the different materials that they use. They use different knitting patterns and different knitting materials, and the paneling is just, let me go grab another one, because I really don't know why it's so much different. Yeah, normally it's just this, really this one kind of prime knit all throughout. We have the three stripes on the toe box, which these are all starting to see blue now, which is not the worst thing, but also not the chillest either. You still have this reinforced inner kind of cage in here, but there's also just different knit. This Even this outer prime knit is just really soft. Everything's a lot softer. Not like wool ultra boost soft, but definitely softer. The color blue that a lot of people didn't like is a color that they use often. It is also the same color as the European Union flag. European Union flag also has 12 stars, as you see here. They're also in a circle, as you see here. The flag itself, they're gold. This, they're white, but this is a recurring theme for etudes. <laughs> I really hate that I don't know. It's really weird when you don't know what you're saying and you keep saying it over and over. Uh, that's the whole reason for this. People don't like it out of context, but it makes complete and total sense with their brand. They also released a clear rain jacket that people just also don't like. But you know, people don't like stuff when they don't understand it. They just talk shit about it. And this is the stuff that I appreciate the most about Adidas. That's why we're talking about this shoe. I appreciate the collaborations more than anything, especially when they're on a model that I actually want to wear, which has boost in it. Uh, anytime they can make me like a model more, that's just what I'm into. And I think it's always been what I'm into. It's nice when there's a GR, also something that you want to rock, but it's also cool when they take something kind of goes underappreciated and makes something that at least I appreciate. I like themes and I like context and this, this fits, but I do understand it's not for everyone. Black boost of black taping, super minimal, checkerboard tabs, handshake joints, two sets of extra laces, black pair. Yeah, and then kind of a flip pair of the other ones, but. These are dope. I'm I'm stoked that I got, I've been wearing them for like two days, kind of just kicking around and I like them, but I do understand they're expensive and a lot of, like a lot of stuff goes on sale now. So it's hard to know what to jump on. I don't, I'm done saying that people are sleeping cause that's not the climate of where we are. And if you sleep, it's like resale doesn't go high. So I can totally understand it's a gamble. You want to see what goes up for half price. Like, fuck it. Why wouldn't you? And that's really Adidas's fault. Nike's fault. Whoever's fault. I don't think that they flooded necessarily certain shoes, but God damn if the last three months they haven't just flooded shit, fire sale of shit, it feels like for the last few months. I am actually excited about this shoe and I was really excited about the kind of guys. And I'm really excited about this other one that's dropping uh, of the engineered garments. Like everything consortium this year seems really fucking cool to me. It's kind of where my focus is and it always has been. You know, it's like why I'm always rocking the gosha. It's like, I like the artist. I like the artistry. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, there's a lot of shit going on in life. There's a lot of arguing going on, on the internet, a lot of politics. There's a lot of a lot. What I have is a lot of work to do. I'm going to avoid all that. Call of Duty's coming out. I'll be on PS4 here and there taking breaks, but I got to get this painting done. I got to get the next few drops planned. I got to start planning out Houston. I got to get my cop list out to all my plugs. We got shit to do, but I hope y'all are well. Sorry for the crazy schedule. I think we're back on track for at least, you know, a couple of weeks. So before it all gets crazy again. What is this? <laughs> I can see myself. I hate myself! We're in Newcastle. Just woke up. Excuse me, sir. Do you know, are you allowed to smoke weed in the streets of Newcastle? No. Are they strict about it out here? Well, if you get caught, then you can't end, you'll probably end up in prison, but... No, if you don't get caught, then you'll be fine. 
It just depends. I don't want to go to prison. It just depends where you smoke it. Jesus, we'll see what happens. <laughs>